Snowmobiling, no one does it better than Michigan on snowmobiles. Michigan on Snowmobiles is brought to you by Yamaha, makers of the most technologically advanced snowmobiles in the world. Kiwaden Casinos, let it ride. Micro Belmont Engineering, your cat connection. Butch's Jet Ski, your personal watercraft headquarters. And United Express Line Trailers, we're behind you all the way. So sit back and relax. Michigan on Snowmobiles will be right back to bring you the fun, adventure, and excitement from this past week. Light makes right. In the battle to stay ahead of the pack, lightweight equals better performance and more nimble handling. Legendary Yamaha reliability and quality arrive on the snow in 97 in 10 new generation sleds, each one the lightest in its class. Built around three new engines, including the lightest triple in the industry. Light sleds. The right sleds. Yamaha. What goes around comes back around. So let the new year start. Your gloves are worn to warm your hands. And good friends warm your heart. Share the dream. Share the speed. Share the secret when you hear it. Kuwaitin. Well, we're up in Irons, Michigan. This is our fourth show this year. Before Christmas, we're here with Mark Richards, president of the ITA. Mark, Mother Nature was not good to us this trip. <laughs> no, Rick, it hasn't been good yet, but uh, it's going to get better. You know, uh, snowmobile doesn't really start till after Christmas. So. Well, one nice thing about coming up here, we've got four years of some great footage to show the folks at all. Well, we, we do get good snow up here. It's just a matter of, like you say, Mother Nature coming through. Uh, what else can you tell us about the ITA this year? Well, the ITA has uh, got their regular scheduled poker runs going. Uh, everything's right on schedule. All we need is a little bit more snow. We need it to it's, snow real bad. It's trying. Uh, what can you tell us about the lodging in the area? Well, we, we uh, have a lodge over at our park. Um, it's called Park Vista Lodge. It accommodates uh, 12 to 14 people. Uh, we have good weekend rates, uh, good weekly rates. Um, it's it's uh, right on the trailhead. It's a fun place to stay. Oh, that's great. Well, due to poor snow conditions, we're going to take a look back at the last three to four years. Let's get out on the trails with a look back at last year. Oh, it was nice last year early, wasn't oh, it? Oh, was it? great. <laughs> it was wonderful. We'll be back in a little bit. I'm here with Ken at Twin Creeks. Ken, one of the best rides around is from Cadillac down here to your place. Now, how do you do that? Actually, you come off the west side of the Cadillac's trail system across the Lincoln Hills ORV Bridge and uh, keep going west until you hit Twin Creek Road. Take a south on Twin Creek Road. Uh, when you come to the end of the road, you'll be at Twin Creek Inn. Uh, come on in, we'll have a cup of coffee uh, or uh, hot chocolate, something. We've got some pretty good food here. Uh, trail system leaves, leaves right, right here. Now, the grooming program is really something. Where are they coming from and where are they going to? Actually, the groomers kind of finish up their trail here. They lead uh, all the way on from Irons through our whole system, uh, Club 37 and, and to here, and turn around on this driveway and head back towards the western portions of uh, the Irons Trail system. Now, you have some dates coming up, so a few poker runs. Uh, yours is one of them. What other dates? Uh, we're running dates. Uh, we're starting on December 30th. Nataka is having their uh, run that day of January 13th, Elk Tavern. Uh, February 10th, Twin Creek will have theirs here. And February 24th, uh, Skinner Park. Uh, they start out at the main bar and then head on over to the other spots where they stop. I'll tell you, poker runs are a lot of fun. Well, I look forward to coming here this winter, Ken, going riding with you. Now, we're going to go over to Club 37, and we'll see you there. From Twin Creek, we went south to Club 37. From Club 37, we went west to Oak Grove. Just down the road from Oak Grove is Elk Tavern. From Elk Tavern, we went west through Bear Swamp down to Natucka Tavern. From Natucka, we went east back to Club 37. We're going to flash back a year or so here when we had some really, really good snow in the Twin Creek Inn area of Luther, Michigan. 
It's one of our favorite areas, uh, the Irons area, that is. And, of course, that's south of M55 from Cadillac and a little bit north of M10, and it's on the M37 corridor. Beautiful area, some of the best riding and trail conditions anywhere in the lower half of Michigan. Great time. We really, really like it up here. Uh, as you can see, we really wish this was this year and not last year. Uh, this is just fantastic. Look at the snow and the trees. It's just phenomenal up here. And the grooming of the trails, as you can see, it's just fantastic. These folks, you know, for a volunteer crew or whatever they have up here, just do a great job. You know, and another thing really interesting is if you're looking for a great place to eat, uh, there's the old Club 37. Uh, they are the prime rib experts of the northern area of, of the Lower Peninsula. Best prime rib around. Fantastic food in that place. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention is there's a, uh, since we were last up there, this footage doesn't show it, but there's a new place in town, in Irons that is. It's called Irons Video. They've got a new gas station, and uh, that's kind of nice to know when you're out looking for gas. You always want to know where it's at, and they have it. And they've got a lot of other little accessory items. If you need oil and things like that, they've got them. And of course, right next door is the Oak Grove Bar. That is in downtown Irons. Look at the snow. These guys are just having a heyday. Man, I wish this was not a dream, and this was this year. This is great. Now let's check in with Sean at the Club 37. just rode down from Twin Creeks, and we're now at Club 37. I'm here with the owner, Nancy. Nancy, one of the things I wanted to ask you about is the jackalope. What can you tell me about that? Um, the jackalope has been a tradition of Club 37 since before I existed. It goes back for eons and eons, and I hope the tradition carries on for the next owners or uh, as customers come in and that. Um, we have a lot of people that actually believe that there's a jackalope, and we have a good time trying to convince them that there are. Some of the people who haven't been here before, and some of the younger ones, we can actually convince them. It's an interesting point, isn't it? Oh, it has been for a long time now. Now, the food here at Club 37 is exceptional. What are your specialties? Well, the number one um, entree would be prime rib, and we're very proud to serve that. Um, our number two would be walleye. Um, it's a favorite by a lot of the sportsmen in the area um, who have not been particularly successful, and they come here then to finish off their fishing trip. Well, other than a great place to come in, get warmed up, and have a cup of coffee, the food is excellent. Club 37, you got to try it. If you're looking for some great deals on 97 Articat performance parts, products, and service, come on into Micro Belmont. 5385 Clay Avenue Southwest, Grand Rapids, Michigan. They got it all. When riding in the Irons area, fuel is no longer a problem. Check out Irons Video and Party Store. They carry all oils for all snowmobiles. They also have food, munchies, and spirits. Call them today. Hey, you downstaters, are you people over in Cadillac, Baldwin Irons area? No matter where you're coming from, if you're riding in the Irons area, you want to check out Peacock LTD. They've got all four manufacturers. they got parts, accessories. They carry cold wave clothing in case you forgot something at home. If you can't find it, we probably got it. We've got the largest storage facilities in the state. Call us today. Let's check this week's tech tip. Hi, I'm Rob Reynolds for Micro Belmont. Today I think we'll talk about carburation and jetting. While talking about carburation, it's very important to keep the proper main jets in your carburetors for maximum performance. You can find which jets you should have right here on the clutch card. There's a chart right there that tells you what to do. If you run a main jet that's too large, your sled will run rich and you'll suffer in performance. If you run one that's too small, you might do something like this. Very important to have the proper main jets in. I can show you how to do that. Take your carburetor off. At the bottom of every carburetor, there's a plug that you remove. Underneath the plug, come on out of there, you'll find a main jet. You just unscrew that, 
put the new one in, put the plug back on, put the carburetor back on, and you're ready to go. I'm Rob Reynolds, that's this week's tip, and I'll see you next week with another tech tip. I'm here with Phil Anders. Phil, you're one of the local groomers here in the Irons Trail System, and you're running a bombardier, which is basically a skidoo. It is a giant skidoo, but it's a lot warmer than one I ride when I'm out riding the trails. As all the groomers go, how does this one perform? Uh, excellent. Uh, it does the job that uh, we need to do. It gets the trails nice and flat, and everything depends on the weather conditions and how much the trails have gotten tore up from traffic. And we do get a lot of traffic up here. Sure do. What, uh, as a whole, how many miles do you have here in Irons? We've got 50 miles of groomed trails in the iron system. Uh, we basically uh, are out every day grooming, weather allowing it. And we've got it broke down in three lengths. Average for a day's run is six to 10 hours. For excellent groomed trails, come on up and see the iron trail system. Let's see what kind of trouble Yikes is getting into this week. Yikes, Yikes, stop, stop. Yikes, what are you riding my sled for? I'm going over to my buddy's house. You're not going to ride my sled on thin ice. You don't see any ice fishermen out there, do you? Who'd want to fish for ice anyway? Oh, get out of here. Uh. Hey, remember, check out the ice conditions before you ride your snowmobile on these lakes. Some of them aren't frozen solid yet. Remember, don't be like yikes. Now is the time to buy a 97 Polaris snowmobile.